guys, how are you going? Uh, for the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be doing a training vlog of all my sessions. Um, for you guys who don't know, I was suspended again for another couple of weeks uh, from football. Um, a bit disappointing, not much we can do. I thought it would be a great opportunity to get some strength back since I had my appendix removed two or three weeks ago and also top up some conditioning going to the back end of the season. Um, so like I said in earlier posts, I'm going to be training strength and endurance at the same time. So it's going to be a bit of an interference effect, so they're contradicting each other. So the way I'm going to work around that is I'm going to be training strength around my 5RM and my conditioning work is going to be interval based, high intensity, high velocity. So we we'll train those fast twitch um, type 2 muscle fibers. And also including the next couple of weeks, I'm going to do a bit of work on agility, prehab, injury prevention, warming up, cooling down. I'm going to keep you up to date as much as I can of all my sessions. I'm going to film as much as I can. I'm going to be a video based talking as much as I can. Um, yeah, any questions, sing out and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, I hope you enjoy the next couple of weeks. Um, I'm looking forward to it, getting down and getting some work done. So, again, if you have any questions, sing out and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Enjoy. Alright, guys, so I've just done my foam rolling, myofascial release, bit of mobility work, get everything moving nicely. And then I'm going to go on some prehab, okay, before I get in my flyers. So prehab, just activate the right areas, get everything ticking over nicely. I love to add flyers before my strength work. Why? Because I get the nervous system flying. Bit of speed, get that speed going, and then when I'm under the bar, I'm moving with speed. So then the first lift I'm going to get into is a barbell squat. Four by four, like I said, train that lower end of the spectrum. So higher intensity, lower reps, neural adaptations. Split stance, trap bar, RDL, love it, I'll give you a show on that one. Um, single leg step up, so I've gone 3x10, so there's a bit of volume in that one, um, but I've written in quality, so I'm just after the quality of the movement, okay? And I'm going to finish off some glute hand raises, so um, mainly focus on the eccentric portion, um, just a bit of injury prevention sort of stuff. That'll be it today, I'll wrap it up, see how I feel, and then I'll go to train tonight, so enjoy the session. on when you're using a box jumping on a box whether it be unilateral bilateral whatever you're doing the box is there just to reduce the impact from the landing okay so if I was to jump up now and land the impact would be higher than it would be to a jumping on a box so it's there just to reduce the impact so don't choose a box that's going to be way too high where when you jump you get into this flexed lumbar position and placing a bit of stress in your lumbar spine so the box is there reduce impact just pick a height where you can jump aim for high hips full hip extension and train that proper athlete moving pattern, okay? Get in some strength, let's go. You wanna know just where I'm seeing the last set moving the weight a bit slower as I would probably like so the last two sets I'm going to do a cluster set what that is is I'm going to do two reps rest for 30 seconds another two reps and then rest for my three to four minutes before I do my next set again another cluster set got to listen to my body I could keep trying to punch it out and get sloppy with my movement but I want to keep the quality there so I'm going to add in the cluster sets so have a look <laughs> to be honest um, just do that weight quite comfortably so I'll do my split stance trap bar RDLs um, see how I feel depending how I'm feeling I might wrap it up early um, but I listen to my body so we'll see how we go <laughs> Right, 
the reason why I'm doing Nordic hamstrings loading up the eccentric piece, so just lowering down, so that's creating tension while the muscle's lengthening, is during sprinting. Now, the hamstring is biarticulate, meaning it crosses two joints, so it crosses the hip and it crosses the knee as well. When you're sprinting, okay, I'll show you. As you're sprinting, right, so the hamstring is involved in hip extension, okay, so as I drive, that's driving that hip extension, then when I come up and I go to stride out, okay, I'm striding out, my hamstring has to load eccentrically to catch my tibia, okay? So it's going to catch and then again, okay? So it's working concentrically, eccentrically to catch and then stride, okay? So I'm going to train both eccentric and concentric, especially hamstrings to prevent injuries, okay? So that's why I'm doing it. Have a check out the technique. Tomorrow. Take care, hope you enjoyed it.